Hello guys and welcome to the video. Today's video guys is for the Wish Hunter class for Season 17 for Patch 265. This is the Legacy of Nightmares Gargantuan Sacrifice book for GR Solo Push. Okay guys, I absolutely love this build man. It's super super fun. I'm a long time Wish Hunter pet player. And uh, this is cool. This is really, really cool. Uh, for those that don't know, on the next season, guys, uh, basically you get Lom, Legacy Nightmares Passive, on your character, okay? So, basically you get this ring set for now for free as a passive buff. You don't have to wear these rings anymore for Season 17, and you get to add more stuff to the build. And this particular setup will only work for Season 17, okay? Nice, okay, guys. So, uh, basically it's a GR solo push build, uh, four gargantuans. And uh, we can absolutely supercharge their DPS. It's really, really cool. We hit cold rotation and just see them absolutely blow stuff up. Why not our strongest build for solo push? Certainly one of the more fun ones, man. As you, if you're like me, you absolutely love pets, then you'll you'll love this, man. You got to do a card game trip, but haven't we? You know what I mean? For, uh, for the next season, it's tradition. It's tradition. Okay, guys. So uh, let's go through uh, the gear. Okay, guys, Sacred Rod Harvester gives us 10 stacks of Soul Harvest, okay, and in conjunction with Lakumba's Ornament Brazer, which is currently located in the cube, gives us an enormous amount of damage reduction. Nice. Boots, Illusion Boots, for a complete freedom of movement, can walk through any mobs. Swamp Iron Waders give us an extra 20% cold elemental DPS, makes the guards hit even harder. For the off hand, we are using the Homunculus, okay? Basically, we use the Sacrifice in this build, which supercharges our DPS. So, if I press mouse 5, you can see our DPS going up and up and up and up and up. So, the idea is basically you, uh, you, you blast this just on poison rotation. A supercharge when you get into cold rotation for the guards and it hits like an absolute truck man super fun to play it's really really cool okay guys first rank is convention of elements uh basically this cycles for all the elements in the game uh, when it hits cold rotation that's the one that you're aiming for for your gargantians because they are a cold pet and stuff will die also we've got fetches on the belt guys as well they're on physical rotation as well so they'll be buffing the ring slightly as well first legendary gem of course is the enforcer increases all pet damage and makes them invincible Sweet. Second ring, guys, is course Unity as well, man. Because it's a push build now without using endless warp set, etc., etc., or a set bonus damage reduction. We do get a bit from the long build, but not that much. You really do need to use Unity, in my opinion. You can go Glass Cam if you want to, but it's completely up to you. So uh, basically, this gives us 50% damage reduction while you wear this ring and there's one on your follow. Next legendary gem, guys, of course, is Bane of the Trap Man for the enormous damage increase, mate, baby. Oh, yeah. Next general stock, guys, of course, is Hellfire Amulet. I currently have Midnight Feast on here, which increases the Galaganesha's damage by 50%. Or you can have any of these passives on the Amulet as well. Okay, nice. And, of course, we're using Bane of the Shrekken to kill the Rift Guardian, baby. So this is a GR solo push build. It's fun as fuck, man. Okay, guys, Tasker and Fears increases all pet attack speed. Absolutely key to the build. You've got to have this in here. Channeling Shoulders. Why am I using Channeling Shoulders in this build? Basically, because this gives us 25% damage reduction and damage increasement while we're channeling fire bats. I put fire bats in this build. It's not here for DPS. It's here to generate fetishes and prop those shoulders and heal us as well by an enormous amount. We go over that in just a second, man. So it's really, really nice to have. And of course, guys, Mask of Jerem, you know, for the enormous pet damage buff as well. We've got Aquila Caress in here as well for an extra 50% damage reduction. So as we're transitioning through mobs to get to the next uh, leap pack, keep us safe. Sweet. There you go, guys. That is the gear. Oh, no. We missed the bracer almost. Uh, the coils are the first spider bracer, guys. So as we're channeling fire bats, uh, we get up to 80,000 life per hit. Okay, so this is really key to the build. This is where all your healing comes from. Traditionally, in this build, we tend to use uh, zombie dogs. We, we normally use zombie dogs, leeching beasts to heal us. Okay, but because we've got this bracer combo going, we don't need the dogs to heal us anymore. Okay, so that's why I've put in a homer in. And sacrifice provoke the pact. Gives that absolutely insane damage ramp. Especially when you hit that cold rotation. It's super, super fun. Nice. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Battle Transcendence, guys. As we, uh, we summon fetishes that last 60 seconds up to 15 with your fire bats. Okay. Nice. Okay. So, let's go through the skills. Uh, Piranha's Piranado. This is your grouping spell. So, basically, you want to get, get to Elite Pack. Round up as many mobs as you can. And uh, cast Nado. Cast your guards on top of the Elite Pack. Such on your fire bats. Once you get to poison rotation, sacrifice, hits cold rotation, boom, they're dead. It's really, really fun to play, man. So this is for your grouping aspect. It also increases damage by 50% as well. Fire bats, vampire bats. I chose this room because um, it only casts you 250 mana initially, like this. And then it charges back up, okay? And also make sure your follower has got a spire on as well, which I forgot to do. Because you need the extra mana to keep this going. That way your Aquila bonus is up all the time, because Aquila only works 
on this particular chestplate at night before prime resource when you're above that. Nice. Okay, guys, so sacrifice provoke the pack, man. I fucking love this. I think it's the first time I've actually recorded a sacrifice build, I think, actually, of all the years I've done this, actually. But um, basically, you can find it. You can blow up one of your zombie dogs. It's not there for DPS. It's there to increase your DPS across the board. So 20% increased damage done for five seconds after using sacrifice. The initial explosion of sacrifice going off for GR push is, you know, you're not going to really notice it. It's just there for this that massive buff you can see right there. Imagine <laughs> TPS going through the roof, man, so cool. Soul Harvest Language, guys. This gives an intelligence buff, and more importantly, an armor buff. Gives us 10 stacks because it's a uh, Sacred Harvester combo as well. Spirit Walk on a guest. I put on a guest in because sometimes you need a bit of power to keep your Quilla up. Because sometimes when we cast in uh, Primers and, of course, Vampire, they take 250 mana each. Okay? So, um, you don't want your Quilla to be dropping too much. Okay, so right now, if I cast say, you can see it, it's dropped. Now I cast Spirit Walk and boom, it's back up again. Okay, so that's there to top up and keep your quota up. Okay, you should be fine though, anyway. As long as you cast a fire, you should be healing constantly. You'll be alright. God, gang, you guys, you're wrong. Way. The Ric Flair of Diablo Pets, baby, with that cleave. Woo! <laughs> Love cold gargs, guys. Absolutely wreck. The only, unfortunately, the only good rune for these guys. I've been asking Blizzard to give us uh, a general cleave for all the runes, like a passive one here. And that way, right away, I'll just go straight to Restless Giant if, I, if that happens. Come on, Blizz. Can we just get Gargs having a passive cleave like he does on Humongoid? And that way, we can run Restless Giant, Big Stinker, Bruiser, etc, etc, man. I would love that. I would love that so much. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, guys, for passive skills, uh, like I said earlier, we've got Midnight Feast on the Amulet. That increases the damage of the Gargs by 50%. And then also we've got Confidence Ritual, for which are 25% within 20 yards. This is a nice and up-close personal build, no even running around at range. I've also been putting Pierce the Vow as well for even more damage, which is nice. This does increase our mana costs, unfortunately. But um, if you want more defense in the build, what you can do, you can change Pierce the Vow out and shove in Swampland Tumor, which gives you tons and tons of resistance to mobs within uh, 20 yards, if you want to. Okay. Uh, what you do, if you don't like Pierce of Vow, using too much mana and you're, you're repositioning too much and you know, you're running out of power and that sort of thing, what you can do is change it over to Gruesome Feast. Actually kill Elite Packs or mobs that drop health globes, you can grab these and it jacks up the intelligence by a ton as well and it gives you power back as well. So it's up to you, man, but food for four. Spirit Vessel Guides, obviously for self res, you don't want to die, do you? And uh, Graving Justice, if we kill mobs uh, within um, 20 yards, we get cooldown reductions, so we can recast our guards and our other spells, etc. etc. Nice. Okay, guys, in K9's Q, baby, is the furnace, of course. This is an elite bust. It kills Rift Gardens really quickly as well. So the furnace, baby, extra 50% elite damage. Lakumba's Ormi Embrace out is like key to pretty much every wish the build there is because it gives you so much damage reduction per stack. So uh, yeah, 60% damage reduction then. And of course, Short Man Finger, which gives us the triple guards and makes them hit absolutely insanely hard. <laughs> okay, again, so uh, the gear is, is the gear is very very good. Uh, we're not using no main stat from Paragon, just movement speed. Uh, all of the gear around about, well, 70 here, 95, 97, 100, nothing, nothing too OP. Core gems, 119, 121, 117. But to be honest, in today's game, you can get access to these gems very, very quickly now. You know, it's very, very, even solo now. Very, very easily. Nice. Okay, then, guys. So, uh, let's show this in action. Yeah, we'll show this in action. We just do a quick uh, GR100 because it's just a mechanics video. And let's go in. All right, let's get Gargantians up. The first thing we've got to do is uh, get some stacks up, baby. And we've got nice stacks already. So as we're casting fire bats now, we're healing constantly. All the time, man. Like, all the time. So what you want to do, when you hit poison rotation, this is when you want to sacrifice. Now. So I'm sacrificing, sacrificing, sacrificing. You see how sheet deeps go up. And now the gargs are supercharged and just absolutely smashing these targets. It's really, really nice. Like I said earlier in the video, you know, this build ain't going to be our top London build. It's probably going to be uh, Spirit Barrage, man. But if those out there don't care about playing the meta or anything like that, or the best build, you just want to play some chill Gargs, man. This is run this one's really, really fun to play. Do you love my Gargs, baby? All right, so uh, as usual, guys, in these sort of builds, um, you want melee mobs. We've actually got some decent melee mobs as well. But you always want to be pushing towards elites. You know, elites, elites, elites. I mean, we've got one right there now. Let's try to get as much trash as we can. Unfortunately, this map kind of sucks a bit. There we go. So what we're doing, what are you doing now? We're waiting for, I don't know if we can wait for a second. Let's do it now, fuck it, we'll do it now. Bang, 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 bang. There we go. Round them up. We're on cold rotation now, and boom! <laughs> He's dead already. Oh my god. 
so satisfying, man. It really is satisfying. When you hit that cold rotation, then they've got you got five stacks of uh, provoke the pack going. Oh man, just bang, <laughs> just fall over, man. Nice, you go. Okay, guys, and also in the description of this video, there will be a build guide. It might not be there straight away, but it will be there for for the launch of season seventeen. Okay. It's not there straight away, just come check back and it will be there eventually, okay? Unfortunately, yeah, Diablo fans is shut down now, which was always my uh, my main source where I always posted all my stuff here for years and years and years. Wow, look at him get wrecked there, look! Let's get some, uh, let's get some sacrifice charges in there. There we go. He's dead. So yeah, basically, as um, long as you're casting fire bats you're ca and you're hitting a target, you're healing yourself for absolutely insane amounts of heals, man. And it just works really, really well. And also, I mean, you remember, when you cast a fire as well, you're taking the an extra 25% damage reduction as well. But you're also buffing your Garg's damage by 25% as well, man. So there's not a nice synergy. Also, I've very crafted a hybrid build of this as well with pure fire bats and uh, Garg's. It's actually possible to run both. So I will uh, eventually get that hybrid build up and running as well. And put it up here on the channel. Wow, that was cool. Sacrifice, 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 channel, uh, I thought unfortunately half my guys are in the wrong spot there. With this build though, you know, if, you know positioning is key, you gotta try to have all your guards on that elite pack preferably, man. But we are used to Pierce the Veil though, so we, it will do damage at range, which is kind of cool. Dun. Uh, where should we go? Let's go down there. Dun, dun. Nice. Come on, where's the elites? I might just stop for this trash, I think. Yeah, let's stop for this trash. So let's recast the Gargantrians. Uh, we do a little bit of sacrifice, because we've just about hit cold rotation. Oh, there's a poor power that we're grabbing those. Wow! And they just absolutely deleted those dudes. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, now we get a pack. Oh, that looks typical. That's all I've got. One guard there. Well, it was a little bit late for my rotation there, but we're okay. Ooh, get in there, get in there, baby! Oh my god. Let's do an early one, actually. Let's do an early uh, sacrifice provoke, because he's almost finished off. There we go. And he's dead. <laughs> it's awesome, man. So much fun. Oh god, there's a speed pilot down there. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. There we go. Nice. Dun. Cause I've always been, you know, I've always been a huge Zinni Master fan, man, so it's really nice to set this up. And if one of my favourite playstyles, even though it's not the strongest, uh, it's all set for next season, man. I might even push this actually next season, so Is he dead already? Oh my god, I wonder what crit that was. Cause, those that are watching this video, guys, could you tell me what crit we just had on that pack right there? Oh my god. I don't, I don't even see what crit it was, or he just disappeared. This is only a GR 100, no, it's just a mechanics video right now, but that must have been a pretty sweet hit for him to be uh, pretty much two shot there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, that's nice right there, baby. Right, let's go. Alright. Right, once we hit. Uh, oh, we've got a bit of frozen, man. Okay, poison now. So start sacrificing now. Preferably start sacrificing while you're in your spirit walk, because that way you are, you could, you'll be a bit more safe. Because obviously when you're not casting fire bats, you're not healing yourself, okay? So, uh, preferably, that's when you want to hit spirit walk, then start sacrificing if it's off court now. So it's all about that rotation, make sure you got it down. Once you get it down, man, it's really fun. Ah, this is nice, guys. Classic. Wish Dr. Garg build, baby. Chill Diablo tunes are on. Oh, we've got two packs now. Interesting. If we had a uh, Paragon on right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Where did they go? <laughs> it's quite nice though. You're quite tanky, mate. you got a lot of healing in this build as well. Like I said, uh, you can make yourself even more tanky if you uh, put in Swamp Land Tumor. Is that a third pack? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm getting old, guys. There we go. Second class is up. There we go. Nice thing as well, guys. Um, Firebat stacks stricken really well, which is really, really sweet. So when we get to that Rift Guardian, which won't be too much longer, we can stack stricken really, really quickly. Really quickly. And wreck that dude. Watch those guards, man. Just absolutely smash his face. Oh, no. Shock Tower map. Typical. <laughs> it's always Shock Tower, isn't it? 
Oh, I shot us. Oh, I missed my cold rotation, unfortunately. So I decided we don't need that right now, anyway. So let's pull back a little bit. Set it up. Boom, boom, boom. Rechannel. Got some of my fetches there. Fetches are buffed as well. Nice. Remember, guys, Legacy of Nightmares buffs all your damage of everything. Absolutely everything. Even the fetches are being buffed right now. Power Pilot! Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Where is he? There he is. Now you know. Sacrifice. This should be a good number, Zip. What? Oh! <laughs> uh, I don't know what damage hit I just had there, guys, but uh, that dude got absolutely melted, maybe. That was Power Pylon. Sacrifice. I don't know what hit I had there, but all I know, it was absolutely huge, and that guy got deleted. <laughs> deleted. I absolutely hate Shock Towers. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. I lost my Harkon Necro to one of these in Zero Set League not that long ago. Which was uh, kind of frustrating. Right, it's just that tank in the set. Right, Spirit Box up, let's just get a bit of a. Ooh, sacrifice it. Rechannel. Even though we're off rotation right now. And he's dead. Got a Rift Guardian up. Cool. Who we got? The Butcher! Nice! Right, Butcher Dude, there you been, bro. Okay, so let me wait until my pause and rotation comes up. Ooh. Which is going to be very soon now. It's start, just like ramping up now. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And cold now. Bang. Bang. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, he's almost dead. We might just do a few more sacrifices here. Just jack up our DPS a bit more. Get healing. Oh, he almost had me there. He almost got me procced. And bang, he's dead. <laughs> what a really, really fun build, guys. Absolutely love this thing, man. So nice. Where well, you just get that peak DPS. We had some monster hits as well during that rift, man, as well. Monster hits, man. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> and there you go, guys. That is a long garden ancient and sacrifice build for season 17 for the next patch, 265. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, the uh, build, sorry. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care and thanks for watching. Remember, guys, as usual, there will be a build guide in the description of this video in the future. As we come up to season 17 launch date, whenever that is, we'll uh, I'll write one out for you guys and. Uh, do the best rear gear rolls and all that and uh, start smashing it out. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Feel free to like and subscribe as well and share this video. Uh, thanks to those that submit support me on Patreon. Also, we have uh, channel memberships here on YouTube now as well. As well, guys, if you want to support my channel and to keep me here to produce other Diablo content videos, hit that join button as well. Guys, thanks very much, man. See you in the next one.